Hi guys! Is your small to medium sized business network struggling with slow data transmission, network loops, and frequent disruption? Today in this video, we are diving deep into the world of Spinning Tree Protocol, the STP, and how it can transform your SMB network. So you can unlock the opportunity to receive a complimentary design consultation for your technology system by effortlessly sharing your question with us. Our team of seasoned designers and experts will provide you with recommendations tailored to your specific needs. The Spinning Tree Protocol feature is of great importance for small to medium-sized businesses as it plays a critical role in ensuring network efficiency and stability. In a complex network environment where multiple switches or interconnected devices are present, the risk of network loop can arise. These loops can lead to broadcast storms and network conjunction, causing server disruption to data transmission and overall network performance. So the STP ensures network efficiency and stability by preventing loops, providing redundancy and optimizing network paths. So the STP works by dynamically identifying redundant paths in the network and blocking them to create a loop-free topology. This prevents data packets from circulating endlessly and causing network construction. The STP is particularly crucial in redundant network topologies where multiple switches and devices are interconnected, as it ensures data integrity and prevent disruption due to loop-included broadcast storms. Additionally, STP can simplify network management by automating loop prevention and providing network redundancy. In order to implement STP in small to medium-sized business, first step is take a close look at your network layout and identify area might require STP to prevent network loops. Then ensure the switches that you choose support STP. Depending on your network bandwidth requirements, choose between Gigabit Ethernet and 10G switches. Gigabit Ethernet is suitable for most SMB networks, while 10G Ethernet is ideal for high performance. Also consider switches offer advanced management features like VLAN and QoS to enhance network efficiency. If you have devices such as wireless access point, IP phone, you can look for switches with the PoE support so you can eliminate the needs for separate power source. So today I'm going to use this three switch to show you how to set up a spinning tree protocol. First, let me introduce them. This one here is the 16 port 90 watts managed PoE switch. It is ideal for enterprise network and data center to build a central management system of power and data for long distance power devices. It has 16 1000 megabit per second RJ45 PoE port, two gigabit combo port, one console uplink port and two SFP port. But keep in mind, only port number one to eight can support up to 90 watts of high power. The rest of the port can supply up to 30 watts of output power. Next one, we have the L224 port, Visual Manage PoE++ switch with two gigabit SFP. It equipped with 24 1000 megabit per second PoE RJ45 port and 2 gigabit combo ports. Also, port number 1 to number 8 can support 90 watts of high power. It comes with visual LCD screen display to help monitor the current status of power usage of IP devices, including output voltage, uplink rate, and etc., helping administrator to figure out the real time condition of devices easily. Last but not least, we have our 24 port L2 plus gigabit managed PoE switch with SFP. It has 24 1 gigabit Ethernet port, 4 SFP fiber slot, two of them are combo ports, and with the powerful traffic management, QoS feature and offer MAC address and VLAN capability allows you to set up a large-scale Ethernet network system requiring great bandwidth and high performance. So without saying, let's do the connection together. So first, I'm going to use a short patch cord to connect our router 
to the switch, plug it into the combo port for uplink to provide data. Next, I'm going to use two Ethernet cable here to connect with the two switches on that side. Let's plug it in here and with all the port that we can use, we are using port, this is the 6 and this one is port number 14. Let's come over to the edge. We are going to use the first Ethernet cable which is the port 6 for our 16 port PoE switch. And next I'm going to use the other one to connect with our 24 port visual managed switch. And next let's use the cable here to connect to the console port to the computer and we can use either web interface or terminal for the spinning tree configuration but today we are going to use the terminal for quick installation so using terminal to set up the spinning tree configuration is super simple first of all i'm going to show you show spinning tree to show you there's no spinning tree command in this computer and next I'm going to show you how to set it up step by step first of all let's type in spinning tree because we are going to set it now it's enabled next I'm going to type in spinning tree mode STP and we are going to set up the switch. Let me set up this switch that I'm connecting to priority. So spanning tree priority 4096. So now this is the main switch. Next, I'm going to set up the other two switches. So first of all, enter interface ethernet. The first switch is connected to port number 6, so let's set up port number 6. Spinning, 3, cost 200,000. So now we're done setting up this switch, so exit the switch port. And let's enter the other switch, the other switch which is connected to interface Ethernet. Whoop, Ethernet port number 14 14 and then same thing spinning tree cost 3 4 zero. and then exit it and now we are done setting up the second switch it's simple as that last but not least I'm going to show you that we already set up the spinning tree by entering show spinning tree as you can see now those two ports are already set up to under our spinning tree configuration so implementing spinning tree protocol in small to medium sized business network offers several benefits that enhance network efficiency, ensure improved network performance, minimizing packet collision, and reducing downtime, contributing to increased productivity and customer satisfaction. And thank you very much for watching. Don't miss out on the latest technology solution and value networking insights. You can subscribe our channel Fast Cabling to stay updated and gain access to expert tips to optimize your network. Subscribe today.